I know this sounds a little bit, I need them for distance, I don't need them for reading. <laughs> uh, this may sound like Business 101, but it's really based on experience uh, with my office and trying to work with uh, small businesses, and particularly minority women-owned businesses, to really make sure that they're competitive. Uh, so just bear, bear with me, please. Um, steps to becoming a government contractor. There are eight key steps to becoming a government contractor. Bless you. The first is deciding what you need to sell. To start, investigate ways that your business can fill existing needs in the federal government. Then find out how federal agencies can purchase these products and services. If you sell something the government buys routinely, it probably appears in the GSA schedule. For less common products, log on to the Federal Procurement Data System, which records detailed information on most of the government's past purchases. Second is gaining a command of the basis. Do your homework. Make sure you understand the whole process of government contracting so you know what you're getting into and can be well prepared. The intricacies of government contracting can be overwhelming. To gain a command of the basics, seek out expertise from the Small Business Administration, consultants, peers, mentors, and others to learn how government contracting works. Third, you have to get registered. The first step is that, is, is, in that is to get a DUNS number if you don't already have one. Then you must register in the Central Contractor Registration Database to be awarded a federal contract. At the FDIC, we, we will only award contracts to companies listed in the CCR database. Fourth, get certified. The federal government sets aside contracts under $100,000 for certified small businesses. Determine if your business qualifies for local and federal small business certification programs. The Small Business Administration has three contracts-related certification programs, 8A Business Development, Small Disadvantaged Business, and Hub Zone Certification. To learn more about these programs and to determine if your business qualifies, again, go to the, go to the SBA website. Fifth, cultivate your network. Networking is an important part of government contracting. Selling to the government is different from selling to the private sector. Extreme aggressiveness can be perceived negatively and might be a deterrent rather than an incentive. <laughs> Experience. <laughs> Consider giving government buyers a concise capability statement for your business. From there, try to get as close to the person using the product as possible so that the user becomes your advocate. Sixth, map out your strategy. Once you're organized for growth, identify specific target agencies and decision makers with whom you want to build relationships. Ask decision makers to share what they're looking for and how your business could be of value. With this information, you can build a detailed profile of your target and hone your value proposition accordingly. 